Hello and welcome to the Inside Clinic Lectures. Today, let us talk about the actions of the superior oblique muscle. In the last lecture, we saw how the superior oblique muscle is supplied by the trochlear nerve which is originating from the contralateral trochlear nucleus. This picture shows the insertion of the superior oblique muscle. As you can see, the superior oblique muscle is coming from the superior orbital fissure and then taking a U-turn from the pulley and getting inserted below the superior rectus. While doing so, it is making an angle with the visual axis and this angle is 51 degrees. This angle really decides how and what action is performed by the superior oblique. The eyeball rotates mainly along three axes, the x-axis, y-axis and the z-axis. Along the x-axis, we have elevation and depression. Along the y-axis, we have intorsion, that is movement towards the nose and extorsion, that is moving outside. Along the z-axis, the eyeball moves either towards the nose, that means it looks towards one side or the other. So when it is moving inside towards the nose, that is called adduction. Whereas when the eyeball moves outside to the exterior, it is called abduction or abduction. When we the rotation of the eye towards the nose is called intorsion. Just observe in the video how the eyes are intorting subsequently. First, the right eye is intorting and then the left eye is intorting. This diagram depicts the importance of the angle between the visual axis and the angle of insertion of the superior oblique. In the first case, as you can see, when the primary angle is 51 degree between the superior oblique and the visual axis, the main action of superior oblique is intorsion. Whereas, when the eye turns inwards, that means when the eye is adducting, the visual axis coincides with the angle of insertion and at this point the superior oblique acts as a depressor. This is a very important point that superior obliques act as depressors in adduction. Carefully observe this video. In dextroversion, the left eye superior oblique will cause the eye to move downwards. That means it causes depression in adduction. Whereas in lever version, it is the right eye which is going depression in adduction. Therefore, the right eye superior oblique will cause depression in adduction. The third action of the superior oblique, which is also called the tertiary action of the superior oblique, is abduction. So to revise, the primary action is intorsion. The secondary action is depression in adduction. And the tertiary action is abduction. So thank you for the patient listening. Have a nice day.